Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to load dim date table in SQL using SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to load dim date table in SQL. So recently I got a comment on one of my video from the Kamalakar Reddy and he said that how to insert data into the dim date table in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So in a data warehouse system, a dim date table is a necessary table. For all other dimension tables, we get the data from the source system and even for the fact tables, we get the data from the source system and fact table of course also contains the keys from the dimension tables as well. But to load the dim date table, we ourselves need to write the code so that we can load the data into the dim date table. So we can have a SQL query which can create the dim date table in our data warehouse database and then it can insert the data into the dim date table. So you can use that query as a deployment script and that can be done just one time because it's not required to recreate the dim date table every time. So in my SQL Server 2019 instance, I have a work database and I'm going to create a dim date table here. So I already written a SQL query to check if dim date table exists. So it will drop the dim date table and then it will create this dim date table and then we'll load the data from 1st January to 2010 to till 1st January 2021 and then it will insert the data into the dim date table. So let me just copy all this code from here and click on new query and maybe I can just execute this particular code from here. So it took just two seconds to execute the query and then we got 4018 rows and the date starts from the 1st January 2010. So this is the date and this is the full date day of month is this one and the day name is Friday, day of week this one. So you can see that all the required columns exist in the dim date table and like the month name is January. So this particular table contains all the required columns and then like last day of month or last day of year and you can see that this is the data from 1st January 2010 and if you scroll down so you will find the data like for February as well. So I think this seems good and this is what actually we wanted and now if you want to for example execute this query from the SSIS package then I think that's pretty straightforward. You can just copy all this code and you can just drag and drop and execute SQL task and maybe you can call this particular task as create dim date table and yeah I will share this code with you so you can check the description of the video and from there you will find a link to download the code and you can use this code in your SSIS package if you want. So let me just make a connection to the work database. I can click on the connection and then I, I need to click on new connection. We already have a connection for the work database so I will select this one click OK. And now in the SQL statement, I will put this code, click OK, OK. Yeah, so when I will execute the SSIS package, then it will drop the dim date table if the table will exist and then it will recreate the dim date table. And after that, it will load the data into the dim date table from the 1st January 2010 till 1st January 2021. So I think this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.